Hey everyone, David back. So uh, we are in the high tunnel. Uh, I purchased a shape cloth because uh, I need it to cool down in here. Uh, it gets pretty toasty. Um, so uh, I just finished putting this guy up. It was not that bad. Uh, I just like tied off one end uh, to some of the eye bolts that are sticking through for the uh, ropes for the curtains and then threw a string over and pulled it over and then tied it down uh it is lower on this side than it is this side because this is the bed that i'm trying to shade out over here with the drip line um so just quick update uh sweet peas they are in bloom um i need to harvest these guys and relunculus they're they're on their way out so you can see the yellowing of the leaves um, but, uh, so this one is called Nimbus. It's a beautiful purple and white flower. And then this one's a, a unique one. This one is not, uh, I don't have a name for it. Um, it was just a straggler, uh, that just happened to germinate. Um, these red ones here. This is called Mars, and these have much, much longer stems. You see, it goes about halfway up my forearm. Um, whereas these guys, they're about, about to the wrist. So, uh, and then I have um, some other ones. This one's called Old Time. Uh, good, good stem length as well, uh, but uh, they're mostly white with this very, very hint of blue. I don't know if you can kind of see that or not. Uh, yeah, so um, move this box. Lilies, uh, they're starting to really, really bud up. And uh, I had one that's got this weird, did this weird thing. Like it decided to halfway open, which is, oh, sorry, which is strange. Um, so most likely this one's no good. I'll probably tag it that way I dig it out and don't use it again. Um, those are the orange ones. Uh, this one here, right there, that one is called um, Bentley. And it's beautiful. It's white with, uh, that's like the petals are just kind of kissed with uh, some pink on them um and then that one that one opened up today uh all of these guys they will be uh opening up soon i'm hoping by next week uh for mother's day uh that's that's my big hope um let's see more seeds the starts uh they need to get planted out here is uh, here's some Cherokee Sunset Rebecca. Look at that. That one, that one's pretty awesome. Um, sorry. Uh, that one, that one's pretty awesome. And then you got same mix. This one's also Cherokee Sunset as well. Um, these two plants were left over because I filled out the bed. Um, Let's see, there was a couple of dahlia tubers that I had. I planted them out here. African blue basil, Dusty Miller, some more Rebecca. I already had enough of those guys. Um, yeah, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, uh, we'll go over here to the little greenhouse. So over here, we got uh, these, these are called sundew. Um, they're beautiful, beautiful yellow uh, flower. Uh, these are the ones that I potted up. Um, I thought I was gonna sell them, but I might just kind of keep them. Uh, and here's that weird one that kind of sort of halfway aborting itself, um, which is strange. Let's see. It looks like it was in a pot with uh, twin bulbs. Um, 
these are probably yellow. It seems like the twin, the twins that I potted up uh, were pretty much all yellows. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. One of my good friends that, uh, that works at a uh, nursery told me they got some uh, plants in, so went and got those. Those make great fillers. More Cosmos that need to get out. Lemon trees, they need to come out. Um, I'm having a big event out here at the farm. Um, it's called May Day uh, this Saturday, and just trying to make sure, uh, have something to kind of look at uh, while everyone is here. Um, flowers and uh, got uh, got some farm animals. So I moved some piglets up here. Uh, they're about six weeks old. Hey guys. Um, so move these piglets up here to kind of get acclimated to this area before a bunch of kids come and, and start seeing this pen right here. I'll probably have, uh, some goats and this one turkeys. So, um, kids can kind of see some farm animals. I'm doing a thing called painting pots with princesses. Uh, so one of my friends owns a company called family fun princesses and, uh, these girls uh, dress up as Disney princesses and they will, uh, they're coming out and they're gonna help the kids paint heat pots. Um, so yeah, um, sorry, my arm's getting tired. Uh, yeah, uh, Disney princesses, they're coming out um, and they're gonna help with kids and then I have a, uh, lady named Caitlin Gooch. Um, you may have heard of her. Uh, she was like nationally known, uh, been on the Kelly Clarkson show. She has a program called Saddle Up and Read, uh, where she takes her mini pony and reads to kids. Um, it's to bring awareness of the, the illiteracy rate here in North Carolina. And I, uh, and setting it up where it's kind of like a fundraiser where uh, people can either give her monetary donations or also give her uh, gently used or new children's books. Um, it's like one in five kids uh, it can't read or write uh, in North Carolina and we're, we're looking to change that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much a update um, so if any of y'all are in the Raleigh area, uh, y'all are more than welcome. Check out Oak Ridge Farms, um, Facebook page, and, uh, I'll, you get, you can see all the information about coming to the event out here at the farm. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's see. I did a video of uh the flower farm but one of the files got corrupted so i'm gonna have to redo that one but anyway uh if you like what you see feel free to, to subscribe uh i'll be doing more updates and things of what i'm doing out here at the farm um uh especially with the with the flowers so yeah uh if y'all uh, like if you like what you see uh hit the subscribe button and i'll talk to y'all soon take care bye